Hello and welcome to this uh, first video blog in a series of video blogs about the adventure that is uh, just about to happen. Me and Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Say hello. <laughs> Not that enthusiastic, but we'll see. We are on an Ethiopian airline uh, flight going to Addis Ababa and then from Addis Ababa we are heading for Hargeisha, which is in Somaliland, the northern part of Somalia, which is not recognized as its own country, but is the former protectorate of uh, the British protectorate of uh, Somaliland. Now, <clears throat> the, the story behind this uh, actually started uh, in 2009, where I met Mohamed Handula, which was the senior ambassador from Somalia for the, the former Soviet Union countries, which was this, uh, called the CIS, Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, etc. Now, I met him in 2009 and we discussed this, uh, this problem of Somalia, that there is only negative news coming out. At that time it was a lot of pirates and, uh, you know, negative news in Somalia. So I said, what about trying to create something positive in the country? And he asked, yeah, what should that be? Then I had this idea that, what if we, instead of helping Somalia, export more goods, the normal physical goods, which are subject to logistics and customs barriers, etc. What about exporting service, like India has, with software programming? So let's say we uh, introduce software programming as a trade, as a skill set in Somalia, and train some hundred people to program well and then take contracts, software contracts, software development contracts ar across the world and then bring money back to Somalia. And the salary level being so low in that country should be able to then compete quite easily on the global market if you got the skill set. So the, the clue is actually getting the teachers to come and teach the kids to program. Now at that time, in 2009, there was an uh, emerging war coming. So. I got this presidential letter of invitation from the then UN-backed president of Somalia and my personal liaison to this project back then was Dr. Ibi. He was the deputy prime minister and fishery minister. And uh, <clears throat> just as I was about to go, um, everybody was leaving Somalia at that time and uh, the foreign ministry of Norway, they was laughing at me because I was going back in when everybody was leaving. And then my wife at the time, uh, Katrina, she... Um, said, you know, I heard on the radio that they're starting to shoot at each other in Mogadishu. And I went like, yeah, yeah, but they're not shooting that much. And she went, no, 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 you got three kids, you got me, and uh, you're not leaving. So I had to go back to Dr. Abey and say, you know, I'm not leaving, reason of this and this. And she, uh, he said, no, that's not a problem. We'll give you an armored vehicle. We'll give you an armored suit. We'll give you an armored, uh, you know, bodyguards, everything. And I went back to Katrina and said, you know, they will give me a tanks. <laughs> I can go. And she was like, you need a tanks? You're not going. And then I had to cancel the trip. Now, a few years later, uh, in 2012, I had this opportunity to go to South Sudan when that country was forming in July of that year. And I was about to go and uh, on, the, on behalf of or invitation of the governor of Juba. And uh, that was for training, mental training of the government, uh, the parliament members, the, the leaders of the country. So they would become great leaders. Now, uh, Katrina again heard on the radio that they had uh, found 3,000 bodies in a wood in uh, South Sudan. So she said, you're not going. I went like, ah, but it's far away from where I'm going. No, no, you're not going. So now I'm divorced and now I can pick up this idea that I had for uh, Somalia back in 2009. So now I'm going to Somaliland to meet with a set of ministers and potentially also the president to uh, inspire them to take on this or you know back this project of, uh, of training software programmers uh, to, to do software contracts and at this time it's even easier because now we have upworks.com, freelancer.com, sites where you can take projects much more easy than in 2009. So it should be that hurdle is then at least a little lower. Now, I don't know if this is going to succeed, if they're going to buy into this, if they, you know, um, if, if, if they would really like to, to do this kind of adventure in their country, I don't know. Um, but if this fails, I would like it to fail publicly. That's why I'm just starting now to, to just uh, launch this video blog uh, right here on the airplane. As you can see, it's, uh, it's filling up. It's filling up. And we're going from Oslo to Stockholm 
and then directly to Addis Ababa and then we're staying in Addis Ababa for about three hours and then we're going from Addis Ababa to Hargeisa which is the capital of uh, Somaliland uh, and apparently we're landing there tomorrow, uh, Monday, uh, Monday the 15th of April and uh, then we are meeting with some kids and the project is to uh, train a lot of kids for one year and, and uh, I will put the project description down on the video so you can see and understand how, how this uh, might pan out if everybody's in on this. So I'm looking for support, I'm looking for somebody who's you know, eager to participate. I've got some teachers that will come from Tanzania potentially if, if the project runs. Um, my good old friend Amani Sadoeka, he has said, you know, he knows people that could come up to Somalia and uh, teach the kids. So the project is six months of training, six months of apprenticeship in open source projects and then start to take uh, actual paid software projects on Upworks.com or Freelancer.com. So that's how it goes. And um, originally I had uh, booked Jonathan, my second oldest son, <laughs> and uh, we were going to go to Ireland to, to look at castles, to get inspiration for role-playing games. Now, uh, since this opportunity came up, um, I had to ditch that idea. We're going to Ireland later and get that uh, grand old, uh, you know, scenery of, uh, of Irish castles also looked at, uh, but later in May, I guess. So now it's a Somaliland adventure and here we go.